Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And uh, I'm going to entitle this video "Some Things That Make Me Laugh." And uh, again, I never try to post anything negative. This is a positive channel, you know, positive energy. So, uh, but it's a learning experience because uh, I'm very thankful for the upbringing that I had as far as older guys taking time out of the daytime schedule to just kind of help mold me and put me on the straight and narrow. You know, I really think that's really important as far as sharing your knowledge. You know, that's why I, I do what I do on this channel for free. You know, I, I spend a lot of time, you know, playing stuff so you guys can learn how to play it as far as the chords. And, uh, I've been chatting with some other people on other channels and, you know, they have these same issues, you know, uh, cause I gave them a list of stuff that I, 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 on the, I guess every now and then I get that I find kind of amusing. And one of them is this, as you become a better guitar player, better musician, you realize that no one, no one plays like you. So don't expect no one to play like you, you know, cause from time to time I get people say, you should do it like this, do it like that. I'm doing it like how Morris does it. You know, and uh, PT really stresses that and it really kind of gets under his skin. You know, uh, when people say, why well, you got this effect on this guitar and blah, blah, and all that, you know, and uh, I'm not one that want to respond to those kind of things on a, on a regular basis because it's a, it's a waste of energy and time because they're just some people that just want to kind of push your buttons anyway because they got nothing else to do. You know, so I try to stay away from that. You know, whenever I get comments like that, I just kind of just delete them, block them, you know, but. The ones that I get on a somewhat regular, I won't say regular bass, but every now and then it's uh, my favorite one. Your guitar is out of tune. <clears throat> and I just did a video where I did a whole video geared around that. And I'm like, every time I plug in my guitar to do a cover, I use this thing every single time. So I'm 100% sure that I'm in tune. Now, what happens sometimes this, this, and people don't realize this, that are not in the business. When they press a record, depending on who masters the record, somehow or another, the speed either slowed down from the original real-time recording or sped up. So when that happens, you're not going to be in total sync with the record. And one record that's notorious for that, and I've tried to play it on a couple occasions, and I realized it's the, it's the recording itself, the master is slowed down. It's Native New Yorker by Odyssey. Uh, you can't play that song because, or along with the record, should I say, because of, uh, it's not, it's not level. It's somewhere along the line of mastering. It has got slowed down to sped up and it's kind of technically in between keys. So you can't play along with the record. I mean, you can play it live, you know, in, in any key you want, but you can't play along with the record. So there's some people that don't realize that. And I do try to stay away from those types of songs so people won't get confused. They that dude, uh, guitar ain't tuned. You know, so uh, it is what it is. But, you know, little things that I can share with you guys. Because, uh, again, no two people play the same. And uh, La old school Larry, shout out to you. You know, he uh, nailed it, you know, as far as his interpretation of my guitar playing. So you actually get keyboard play on guitar you're absolutely right i love playing chords you know uh i guess in a traditional sense of playing guitar if the, if the guitar is not the main instrument you know like nia rogers the guitar was the main instrument uh other groups the guitarist was the main instrument and then the keyboard playing was secondary because it's the guitar players band or whatever and uh when it's like that the guitar player, or should I say, when it's keyboard, heavy bass, the guitar player responsibility is just playing feels around the chords. And I'm like, I can do that, don't mind doing that, but I like playing the chords. You know, I just love playing the chords. That's just me personally. And there's some people that like to just do the, you know, the picking, uh, the licks, the solo thing, you know, because there's some people that ask me, uh, and they stop asking me because I've stressed this on many videos. Uh, when you going to do some stuff, show solo stuff. I don't do other people's solos. I mean, you initially do that to learn, but once you learn, it's like, okay, there's a reason why it's called solo. You're on your own, as opposed to I'm trying to sit here for hours trying to figure out some of the other guy's guitar solo, note for note. It's a waste of my time, you know? And a lot, I noticed as I was getting older and observing uh, 
musicians when they play live and not necessarily the actual band but cover bands they would kind of do their own solo and i'm like okay why is that and now i know why because it's like uh unless it's just one of those solos this a uh, signature solo like stairway to heaven it's like i want to kind of interject my own thing here you know because this is what i'm supposed to do and still sitting here trying to do a no for no thing you know but uh the more you play the better you become because there were a couple of videos I did maybe three years ago. I went back, evaluated them, and I scrapped and redid it. And one of them, I think I mentioned to you guys as far as One Nation Under Groove. I did the chords right, you know, because I had the sheet music, but I didn't play it like the record as far as the guitar parts, especially the intro. And somebody called me out on it, and I took a step back and said, you know what, you're right. I deleted that video, went back, and did it almost, you know, like uh, the, the guitar player did it on, on, on the record. And another one was uh, Always in Forever. I did it years ago, and uh, it was not gelling at all, but it was enough to get away with it. But then I, I thought I looked at it about a year ago, and I said, you know what, I'm going to delete this and do it over just like the guitar player on the record. And I came extremely close. So I mentioned this to say this, of that to say this, that your ear never stops improving. You know, just when you think you got a real good ear, it's going to get better. You're just going to keep getting better and keep getting better because, uh, you know, the, a lot of the bass stuff that I do, uh, a lot of the the beginners have a hard time picking out these notes because some of them are kind of hard to pick out. Because uh, when I did per request tab service for uh, Love's Holiday by the uh, Earth, Wind & Fire, the bass part, when I first listened to the intro from bass player's aspect, I was like, whoa. And I thought about it, I said, it's a lot of stuff going on here at the beginning or so it seems. But, you know, once you sit down and kind of listen to it, you can figure it out once your ear develops because that would not be something I would do from a bass player standpoint because, you know, the, the, the trick to playing bass in most instances, is, you know, with the exception of playing jazz or gospel, you're playing patterns, you know, and it's like learn the patterns because it's usually at least two, maybe three, and that's it. So it's not that difficult. And I, I did a video a while back as far as... Uh, Bass is the easiest instrument to play. And some people are, oh, why do you think say that? And uh, what about James Jameson playing? And the people that chime in are people that don't play and don't play multiple instruments. Because I can make that statement because I play several instruments. And out of those several, bass is the easiest. And my other musician friends who play several instruments, they say the same thing. Yeah, it's the easy unless you're trying to do some jazz and some scale stuff. But if you're just doing some simple pop, rock, R&B stuff, country you know, it's not that difficult, you know, but not to say that uh, taking away from being a bassist, it's, you know, it's not as uh, important as any other instrument. I'm not making that statement by no means. I'm just saying that it's just one note at a time and you should be able to be paid to pick out one note at a time. You know, picking out chords is different because I solely rely on the bass line when I do my tabs. That's how I approach it. I listen to the bass line. I'm like, okay, now I just got to audition of several chords that will most likely be one of those chords, which I teach you in my DVD lessons one through seven. That's how I'm able to trailblaze through all that stuff because I'm like, uh, the bass player is the guitar player's best friend. You know, uh, I learn a lot from drawing from that bass note. And what makes it, I guess, not difficult for me because I, I start off as a trumpet player. And then I did a little sax, and then I realized uh, that wind instrument just ain't going to work for me. Jaws, so I got a headache, so then I, I switched over to bass. I like bass, but it's like it's one note at a time, and at some point in time, I want to write songs. So then I switched over to guitar, and in between bass and guitar, I picked up a little piano, and unfortunately not enough to say I'm a piano player, because uh, I envy the piano player. You know, when I listen to these compositions like Maze, you know, I just listen to the beautiful chords, piano chords. And it's like the piano just fills up the musical spectrum. You know, uh, for rock, if you're doing, you know, a rock thing, yeah, the guitar is kind of more important than the keyboard in most instances. But for R&B, pop, you know, uh, techno, it's like it, it all falls on the keyboard player. And I envy him for that because uh, with keyboards, you can per track have a totally different sound you know with as far as synthesizers you know with guitar it's just guitar and it's guitar with a little flange a little guitar with a little reverb guitar with a little distortion but it's guitar but with piano 
you know, with the synthesizer and the modules, you can create symphonic, symphonic type of stuff, not just, you know, acoustic piano, electric. You know, you can come with all types of beautiful soundscapes. So uh, I envy the keyboard player for that, and I try my best to kind of emulate him. But uh, I just wanted to post this video as far as just more food for thought and, you know, things of that nature. And, uh, you know, a few other things that I get on a I won't say regular base, but every now and then, uh, I get messages like this, uh, oh, what, where are the chords? I'm like, the chords are right there on the screen at the bottom. So I'm like, I don't know how that's missed. And I'm like, uh, I just don't know. It's like, it's right there. You watch the video, you see little chords across the screen. But, you know, sometimes people don't pay attention. And just other things that, you know, they want to mention, but, uh, you know, it's it's really important to start to develop certain things so you understand. Because like I said, and then I'm going to sign off, no two guitar players play the same. So I don't expect the other guy to sound like me, to play like me. And don't get wrapped up into that what kind of guitar you're using. Because it ain't about the guitar, it's about you. Uh, of course, everybody wants the best guitar for them. And each guitar is different from each person. Everybody has a different preference. Everybody have a different skill set level, you know, so that has to be taken in consideration that uh, these things are individualized. It's not one step fits all because I always have people ask me, uh, what are your settings? I don't even know. You know, I plug in my, my preamp and I go to a setting. It's a preset that I like and I just play, you know. Uh, I try not to get too much into that technical thing because each person has this own different way of playing what they like as far as effects you know so i don't get wrapped up into that uh i want to follow you to the letter because you can't my phone is ringing so until next time take care